Welcome to the Twisted League. For two months only, I'll be locked on the continent of Zaya with a fresh Iron Man account, competing with other players to finish as many tasks as possible. With powerful relics offering new and innovative ways to progress, the Twisted League is sure to be a true test of game knowledge and theory crafting. Let's get to it. As we kick things off, I want to briefly go over my starting strategy for the League. I was surprised that Jagex released the full task list a day before the League opened as I thought they'd want it to be more of a surprise, but it actually hasn't changed my starting route at all and if anything it's just reinforced it as a good option. Essentially, I want to go to Winter Todd after getting 60 agility through Barbarian Fishing. The agility level allows me to train the skill between rounds at Winter Todd using the Pillar Shortcut, which is the best way to train agility post 60 as far as I know. I haven't decided how long I'll stay at Winter Todd just yet, but there are a lot of tasks to complete there, so it makes sense to do it whilst I still have a low HP level. I'm also going to be choosing the Endless Endurance perk, which gives unlimited run energy and double hit points regeneration. Uh, that's going to be useful for a lot of things, I think. So yeah, that's the plan in a nutshell. All right, picking up the feather that I need for the client of Karen Quest, that's going to be one of the first things that I do. The other thing that I need to start working on is my mining and smithing in order to be able to make a steel axe for Winter Todd. So I'm going to be making some bronze stuff and some iron stuff for that. Very busy here at the moment. So as long as I don't get too unlucky on these iron ores, this should be enough to get me to 31 smithing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and also continue working on the client of Karend. Whilst I'm in Arceus, I'll also get 20% favour because I'll need that to unlock the store that sells me a fire staff, which is going to be one of my warm items for Winter Todd. So I finished the client of Karend and picked up the two XP lamps. One of those is definitely going to go on construction once I've paid 1000 GP to unlock my house as that will give better XP at Winter Todd. The second one, I'm not too sure I'm going to put that on possibly Herb Law. Um, I'm just hopping to Land's End very quickly because there's a quick task you can unlock and I want to pick up some of the Hunter gear. I'm not planning on doing Hunter straight off the bat but I'm going to take a Butterfly Net um, because I might actually do a little bit of Hunter and Cooking in Raids. haven't decided that for sure but I figured I'd just get the rest of the stuff while I'm here. So that is 20 thieving which is what I need for the quest but I'm actually going to go ahead and thieve some silk from the stores now. That's going to be my method of getting the like 10 to 15k I need for feathers. I think it'll be around 200 silk so hopefully that won't take too long but I think that's worth doing now because there's a 30 minute or it might even be a one hour cooldown timer and you can't sell the silk that you've stolen back to the merchant until after that time so it's probably better to do that now and then do the rest of the, the quest and stuff while I wait for that to that cooldown to finish. All right, that is the Queen of Thieves quest completed. So I'll go and sell my silk to get the money I need to purchase all of the feathers. I also need to get my fishing up to 48, as well as getting 15 strength to actually be able to start barbarian fishing. And while I'm at it, I'll probably get five attack so that I can wield my steel axe once I hit Winter Todd. Other than that, I still need to unlock my house and purchase a staff of fire, but slowly getting there. Alright, so I bought my house, which means I can use one of these lamps to get 15 construction. In terms of what I'm going to use the other one, I think I'm just going to go for Herb Law. I couldn't really think what else to use it on, and that will just skip some of the lower levels um, and start unlocking some of the more useful potions a bit quicker. Alright, I am all set for Barbarian Fishing. I've got 48 Fishing, 15 Strength. It has gotten me up to 13 hit points, but I don't think that's going to be too terrible at Winter Todd. And I remembered that I don't actually need to get 5 attack to wield the Steel Axe because I'm going to be using the Staff of Fire as my second warm item anyway. So don't need to worry about that and that would just get me extra hit points levels anyway. So I've got just over 4,200 feathers. No idea really if that's going to be enough for 60 agility. But if it's not, I'll just home telly back to Karen Castle, thieve some more silk and um, buy some more feathers. So yeah. Also hoping I can get to the top of Mount Quidamortem without dying. Got plenty of food, we shall see. So here we are, Barbarian Fishing at last. I did think about whether it would be possible for me to three tick these, but the only way really to three tick on Zaya is with a mahogany log. And you do need 61 fletching, I think, to be able to do that. So I'm not going to bother trying to do that first. I think there is a method for cutting the um, fish that you catch and eating it to start a three tick cycle but 
apparently if your cooking level is really low that becomes very inconsistent so again can't really be bothered to learn that it'll be nice just to casually train the fishing and I think it might be around 10 hours up to 60 agility which all in all is not too bad. A hard clue bottle this could be quite interesting if I'm able to complete this then there could be some decent rewards from this I'm not too sure what the hard clues are like I know the elite ones have some more difficult requirements I know there's a bob shirt step and the medium ones have some adamant armor steps have a look at I might take a break from the fishing and see if I can do this all right so there are five hard steps on Zaya two of them are Saradomian wizard steps which I wouldn't be able to do at this stage yeah so what I might do is just trade this into Watson and yeah for the time being I think clues are going to be pretty tricky for me to complete but with the relic that you get I think at the third tier I'm, I'm quite interested in taking that and doing a lot of hard clues in this game mode I think it could be pretty pretty good fun I really should be focusing on the fishing but I just picked up an easy clue and I'm going to give it a go again I've not checked what the steps are for Zare so I might not be able to complete it but hopefully I can well that was easy, it was only two steps and I did actually check and easy clues, they're all completable, there are no uh, item requirements or anything like that. What can we get? Ooh, that's actually unique. Studded Chaps Tea, Black Long Sword, I guess I can use that for training, some food, that's not too bad and it was a league task as well to complete one easy clue scroll. Scouted myself an Ice Demon room and picking up 55 making, so just need to finish up the agility level for Winter Todd. Look at this guy flexing his Dragon Axe and Tome of Fire from Winter Todd. Man, that is very lucky indeed. What's his name? Uzva. There we go, the fishing is completely done. 84 fishing and obviously 60 strength and 60 agility. I'm ready to go and do Winter Todd at last. I didn't get my points. So I'll claim them now and I've unlocked my next relic on the second tier which is going to be Hardcore Harvester which gives me three times the normal amount of resources from various activities. I didn't select that um, whilst I was doing the fishing because that was going to make the, uh, the process a little bit more annoying but definitely going to go for that one and head on over to Winter Todd now. Ooh, got the warm gloves and some burnt pages off my first, um, oh, I don't know how many, eight crates. So I'm up to 90 fire making, but I'm really close to being able to unlock my next relic, which is going to be the Art of the Artisan relic, which basically doubles the XP I get in a bunch of different skills. So I'm going to go through my tasks and try and pick out some easy ones that I can go and complete really quickly just to unlock that, because it's basically going to make Winter Todd a lot more efficient. Well that did not take long at all, I pickpocketed a Master Farmer for 50 points, did 40 mining for 50 points, turned in some library books and got my magic up to level 40, so that should be all the points that I need. And I can now select the third relic, which is Eye of the Artisan, which takes my multiplier from times 5 to times 10 in all of these skills which is pretty ridiculous. The XP is going to roll in very quickly at Winter Todd. Hey there we go that is level 99 fire making that was unbelievably quick. I was looking at the uh, other skills that I've trained up since I started here at 50 fire making. I've gone from 60 to 66 agility. I've gone from 20 to 69 fletching which is a lot of levels and I've gone from 15 to 47 construction as well. I've not gotten so many woodcutting levels because of the um, gathering perk that's given me three times logs, but the fire making experience is just ridiculously quick. And on that note, that is the end of the first episode in the Twisted League series. I really hope you have enjoyed watching. I'm having a great time playing it, I have to say. It's actually really living up to the hype. Next episode will kick off with a lot more Winter Todd as I'm going straight to 50 million XP possibly even 100 mil but that's very much undecided um, I want to make the most of Winter Todd whilst my hit points are so low as it'll be quick and easy points and supplies not to mention the fletching construction and agility XP I'm getting too I've opened a few crates to ensure that I could get the limestone bricks for an altar in my house but after getting those I've left the crates unopened I am considering waiting to get a base level of like 40 or 50 in the relevant skills before opening the rest but I'd be curious to hear what you guys think I should do. Do let me know in the comments. 
If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you don't want to miss the next episode, then make sure you subscribe as well. And until next time, guys, take care.